What's up everybody, Shri Kanasa here. So over the past few months, I have been transitioning all of my campaigns, specifically standard shopping, smart shopping campaigns into performance max campaigns. And so this tutorial is gonna be a full on look into the Google Ads Manager segment section and also how to use it properly to then use the right kind of audiences to then make the right kind of targeting to be able to achieve success like a lot of the e-commerce brands are. I'm currently handling are facing. So for example, if we look at the last 30 days for this, e-commerce brand which by the way is heavily using the audience manager section and also doing a lot of targeting based off of the segments created you can see that within the last 30 days alone this e-commerce brand has done roughly a 9.28 x ROAS and that too at a very big scale so in total we have done roughly $75,000 but this brand right here has also been heavily using performance max campaigns and those audience segments created from the audience manager and as you can see since the time period of basically July of 2021 so it's been a little over a year since this e-commerce brand has been running we have been able to do roughly a 7.64x ROAS by the way most of these e-commerce brands I'm showing you are all under my Google Ads agency your marketing which if you're currently doing $30,000 or more per month in revenue with Google Ads and you want to scale further with Google Ads in general go on, on my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen but let's now start by going into the tools and settings section and and from the tools and settings going under shared library to audience manager because within this audience manager section is where we will start looking into all of those audience segments how to do proper targeting with performance max and so on and so forth so first things first when you land right on this page on the left hand side you will see four different options first one audiences which we will be using second one segments which we will also be using third one your data insights and fourth one finally your data sources so let's start off with the audiences section because this section is where you will be able to create directly those audiences which will then be chosen within performance max campaign so if we go ahead and click the plus button right here we can see this little menu pops up and there's a lot of things to look into within this menu but don't panic i know it looks a bit confusing but it's very straightforward so first things first audience name obviously that's pretty straightforward you're just going to be giving it the name of the audience what you plan to create here but now if we scroll down just a little bit look at custom segments and go ahead and click new custom segment we will see that this little window opens up here so this is the first form of audiences which you can create and going back it says and under custom segments people based on their search activity downloaded apps or visited sites and that's pretty much essentially what custom segments is so from this section you have the ability to choose between two different options for this audience segment first one people with any of these interests or purchase intentions if you kind of click on this question mark it says enter keywords describing your idle customers interest or products and services they are actively researching to buy so essentially we have the ability to create a custom segment here of all of those consumers with certain buying intent keywords so for example if we are planning to sell 3d printer what we can do is we can type in the word 3d printer and as you can see it might show up right here with all of these different kinds of searches done by other consumers or if something you are looking for doesn't directly show up all you need to do is just press enter and then it will just be populated right here so now what's going to happen is as you can see on the right side it says weekly impressions 100 million to 500 million gender 83 percent male age parental status and so on and so forth what you essentially did is with this custom segment you are targeting all of those people with an interest or if they have shown any type of purchase intention in the past or in the current present of buying 3d printers or of researching within 3d printers so essentially the best way to go with this kind of custom segments is to write all of your main keywords which you already might be getting sales for or what you want to rank for so for example 3d printer you can also do things like buy a 3d printer and in addition one really good thing about this is you can actually stack Stack them up so you don't have to just write buy 3d printer all at once you can also write 3d printer and so on and so forth so this is the first kind of audience manager segment which you really need to be looking into because this segment you can then test within your performance max campaign and we'll be going into how to test properly very shortly but for the custom segment I recommend you keep it to one keyword at a time because as you can see it says 10 billion to 1 trillion obviously we don't want to have it that broad so we want to keep it a little bit narrow so we want to have a one keyword at a time and then for the segment name you can just give it the name of whatever keyword you wrote down there so in this case we can just name it 3d printer and that's essentially all this custom segment will be for but now let's say that you did this but you want to test more things now here's where you can actually 
target people who search for any of these terms on Google. So this is a bit different from the first one because this second segment of audiences, it's specifically those individuals that actually search for 3D printers or buy 3D printers. So both of these are ideal for testing purposes. You want to try both the first option and the second, but this one gets a little bit more granular because it says right here, enter search terms your ideal customers is using on Google. So your ads will reach the people who search for those already and similar terms only on campaigns running on Google's property. So essentially on Google ads itself, whatever data it has to work off of audience for the first option, then an audience for a second option. But here's the interesting thing. Those are not the only audience manager segments, which you can also try. If you look right here, it says expand segments by also including people who browse types of websites. So if you click on it now, you can kind of narrow down a bit further to actually target those people who actually browse on similar websites. So here is where you enter your competitors URLs. And by the way, you can do this on its own. So for example, if you type in Prusa research here, because this is a legendary example, I always mention and just type in save, as you can see, it will actually save it in here, but it might not give you the best kind of results. So essentially what the best way to go about this is you can actually click new custom segment and add one keyword and then add another type of website to it to kind of add onto this original search. So this is essentially what this means by expanding the segments by also including you want to add one keyword for the first option or the second option, but then also double down on it by adding websites or by also adding those types of people who use certain apps. So this one really doesn't apply to us directly. But for e-commerce brands, the best one to go with is the URLs right here. But that's essentially what custom segments is. But we're not done yet. Within the audience manager segments and targeting section, you also have the ability to use your own data as well. So here is my recommendation for the your data section. You want to be using all of the possible data that you already have gathered within your e-commerce brand within the data section. And by the way, you can use this for standard shopping as well as search campaigns as well. All you need to really do is to go in this section and create a new data list is go ahead and personally choose them here. So the first one, shopping cart abandoners, product viewers, and so on and so forth. Essentially, it doesn't matter how many different ones you use because you can again, insert them individually one by one and then add the audience name to that given one. So for example, if this was only going to be for shopping cart abandoners, that's what the audience name would be. Or you can kind of jumble them up, mix and match them together and have multiple ones in here. I do recommend you use one data point at a time because that's the best way to kind of segment out your audiences so that you also know what's working the best. But pretty self-explanatory here. You want to use any kind of possible data available within your market. So for example, some of the ones we do use include shopping cart abandoners, product viewers, general visitors, all converters, and so on and so forth. And again, there's more for you to use within the browse section, or you can also create new ones. But that's not the only audience type that you can create within the audience manager segments and targeting section. So here, you can also target based on certain interests and detailed demographics. So whatever you want to do in terms of the certain detailed demographics, like in market segments, if you run an e-commerce brand that sells apparel, you can choose the first option right here, or I recommend by the way, and go within to the specific categories and sections. So for example, active wear, if you look into it, you can look at running apparel. If you sell some yoga apparel, you can also target that directly. So it's a in market segments, essentially what people within the market themselves have already looked for all of those people will kind of come together. And if you read on the right side, it kind of tells you exactly what's going to happen. People interested in purchasing yoga clothing will be targeted. So that's essentially how granular this is getting. And there's a lot of different things you can do here. You can also browse and look at certain other things. Like for example, you can do it based on life events, detailed demographics, affinity segments, and so on and so forth. Again, the number one recommendation of always do everything one at a time. And before I continue further talking about how their audiences, I want to take your attention over to this little Google spreadsheet I have available for you, which if you want the access to this one, let me know down in the comment section below. But these are some of the main audiences I create. So within Google ads, number one, within Google analytics, number two, but also if you have a YouTube channel connected within the YouTube ad section as well. So with YouTube itself, you can create this directly on Google analytics, but with Google analytics itself, you can create these audiences from Google analytics itself. So within the Google analytics account, you will not be able to create these two within Google ads. Only these ones will you be able to create within the Google ads side of things. So very doable for you to target within the your data section, because once you target them within your data, that's when Google's power really kicks in because now 
you have all of these different audience segments which you can actually target. And if you already have Google Analytics installed, if you had a YouTube channel all this time, you can actually use that data to then submit onto Google Ads. But if you wanna take things further, and by the way, I recommend you do all three of these, just go ahead, go inside your Google Ads account and create all of these audiences. If you want a tutorial on how to actually create these, let me know down in the comment section as well. But this spreadsheet will be available for you. Again, if you just let me know down in the comment section that you want this, and I will directly kind of give you a link so that you can download it. But those are are the audiences which I also create and use within the your data section super helpful super powerful because it helps you take your e-commerce brand to the next level but now moving on to exclusions this is where you can actually add certain exclusions in if you want to nothing too crazy just remarketing list if you don't want to also target within this audience section and demographics now this is where you can target certain demographics age gender household income and so on and so forth nothing too crazy here but again the main recommendation I have for you within this section is to create create one audience segment, one audience targeting individually one at a time and then test it within the campaigns. Don't go crazy and just mash everything up together and then just put it in to a campaign because if it works, great, but you don't know exactly what caused it to work. And worst part of all, if it fails, you really don't know what failed within it because some things might have been working and other things might be the reason why it failed. So it's important for you to test one thing at a time. But now moving on to segments, within segments, you have the option of creating either data segments, custom segments, or combined segments. Regardless of what you do, it's basically just creating different audiences. You can create a website visitors. And by the way, this is where you create all of these different audiences, which I just mentioned to you earlier. So it's pretty much self-explanatory, just going into each one, which you wanna create. For example, if you wanna choose website visitors, then you have the option of choosing web visitors of a page, visitors of a certain page, and so on and so forth. So this is when you kinda get into the nitty gritty details, which I'm not gonna go into in this video, but these are the options which you have. The main thing you wanna understand is the audiences section is where you can create all those really cool audiences, which you then can submit into your cold traffic audiences, cold traffic campaigns, hot traffic campaigns, and make them kind of perform together with cold traffic plus hot traffic. That's by the way, the best way to go. But these are the kind of audiences I create not only for my own e-commerce brands, but also for my clients e-commerce brands under my Google Ads agency, Euro Marketing, which if you're currently doing 30 thousand dollars or more per month in revenue with your e-commerce brand you want to scale to the next level with google ads go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen but if you found any type of value in this video destroy that like button destroy that subscribe button and watch any of these two videos right in front of my face to take your e-commerce brand's journey to the next level and i will see you in my next video